Assalamu guys, my name is Amzar Fik. Today I'm going to show you a comparison between uh, different types of layouts like uh, if you use a linear plus a relative layouts where I'm going to show you a, a performance difference between relative layouts and linear layouts versus constant layout. So I was building this app. It's uh, basically Muslim Shadi's uh, Muslim marriage app. So uh, when I, I was working, I noticed that uh, my layout performance is very low. So I posted on Facebook. Uh, some of you guys have has have been recommended me to use a constraint layout. So I totally switched to constraint layout. Let me show you uh, my current layout right now. This is uh, my current layout. As you can see, uh, there is not very big layout, but this is, uh, have uh, some uh, nesting, a very deep nesting, almost uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost into go to uh, five to six seven nesting this is a combination of relative layouts plus linear and uh, yeah uh, combination of linear layouts plus relative layouts with weights so uh, i was thinking about why my performance is low let me show you what my performance is talking about if i click on as you can see this is the edit, edit basic info if i click on edit basic info this much if you have noticed that this much bump is go above okay as you can see all those vertical bars should be a less than uh, this one so i was thinking why this is going up so i uh, I, I just posted on facebook and some of you guys have recommended me to use a relative uh, sorry constraint layout so i totally switched to my constraint layout let me show you constraint layout so I'm not going to defend any layout, you can use anyone, just learn constraint layout, it's very easy now. So this is a now constraint layout, as you can see there is no deep nesting, only one scroll view, then constraint layout, then uh, tab, uh, so text view, text view, tabs, only uh, this one. So there is only three level nesting, uh, almost only one level, uh, this you can see scroll view is in, uh, necessary and then this one is almost uh, we must have a uh, new root layout and only this one is nesting so let's let's run it this app uh, and let's run this app and again and see how much time it takes to actually load from uh, ground so if i open my java file i working with kotlin if you do not understand forgive me you can ask me anything from here so I have put some logs here uh, when fragment is attached uh, to activity I start calculating, calculating time and then when fragment is totally visible uh, like an inside on resume so I minus that time from it time to take load so if I copy this log and uh, search into log cattle as you can see already search it but I'm gonna make it new so my app is up running if you do not know what this vertical bar is is basically gpu profiling uh, you can search on google what is gpu profiling it's it's uh, show you how much uh, your uh, layout take uh, take time to render and show shown to screen so now it is the lag and there is no lag i have i have forget to show a progress bar because there is an api call going to web so if i click on this uh, person button there is a four uh, text view here all these are using constant layout also so if i click on basic edit right now this okay now is click yeah it's take uh, three uh, three uh, three seven six millisecond so let me open it again and close it in when i break back press uh, keep in mind this activity is totally destroyed uh, so fragment does not go to a uh, back stack so i just override the back press let me show you fragment activity uh, uh, fragment host activity as you can see uh, if i click on on back press there is a no super dot on back press uh, so i'm not uh, i'm not storing any on insistive etc so I just finished the fragment, uh, finished the activity as well as the fragment also destroyed completely. So now let's open it again. Sorry, on on back press, on back 
press call activity is finished now let's click it again now this time it's uh, take relatively low time one for eight second we, we gonna open two to three time so as you can see uh, for second time it does not take uh, more than I think 200 millisecond yeah it will not it will not take one uh, its highest one for 40 so let's take a screenshot of this guy no uh, let's note this guy in our notepad text editor so we can remember next time <coughs> Now, now I'm gonna uh, open this layout, open this app, like run this app with a uh, constant layout. Let me quickly change my layout, group layout. So, edit basic detail fragment with constant layout. As you can see, now we are in constant layout. So, now I'm gonna not going to instant run, I'm gonna completely run this app from grounded. As you can see now, uh, the app is uh, going to delete it, then re uh, reinstall it. So meanwhile, if you are uh, not using a new library from Google, it's called View Model. Make sure you use it. This is a very good library. I will be make a video if you want to learn how to use a View Model and you've not heard about it. MV MVVC, I think it's called. Uh, you can uh, ask me. I will be make a video on this. I noticed that uh, when I was using a view model and I remove my some code from on create and move my code on create activity and then uh, when activity is totally visible sorry fragment totally is visible I farm is slightly up so as you can see now we have up and running now I'm going to quickly log into my account The next video will be on Kotlin versus Java. So make sure you subscribe my channel because I need to get my monetize my channel so to make money. Uh, as you, as you know, we all need some money. So to uh, monetize my channel, we needed to one have at least one thousand subscriber. So help me to get one thousand subscribers, please. So now, as you can see, uh, let me open Log Cattle again. And this time, I'm gonna clear the log cattle and uh, edit basic info with layout. As you can see, the this time we load first time 307 second, and there was a difference. There's not much difference. There's a millisecond difference, but you can count here. So the, the before it was it was a taking 3.7 uh, second. Now it was only almost 70 millisecond is uh, down so let's close it again and run it again now this time you notice it to load again it take much time as compared to other layouts so first time it take uh, less time but uh, when you load it again it take uh, time as you can see now uh, our layout almost take more than 200 millisecond 250 we have tested three uh, three to four time as you can see our uh, linear layout combination with relative layout only take first time to load far uh, first time it take much time but and then it when it resume uh, you can see again uh, reallocate it take less time so thank you guys for watching if you have any question let me know so my final thought is uh, I'm gonna stick with I think a constraint layout right now because it's new and uh, it's more easy to implement as you can see uh, it's not a very uh, you, you just have needed to uh, you, you just have to understand two things constraint bottom to bottom and constraint uh, bottom to end only this one so it's very easy if you want to make if you want I make on this tutorial on constraint layout let me know you I will be teach you how you can use a constraint layout in your production apps so thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any question comment below I will be answer as soon as I can